Welcome back to Prepper's Paradigm. Continuing our series of videos about real disasters, we're looking at an event that took place in the 19th century, but could have very wide-ranging consequences if a similar event happened today. We're talking about the Carrington event, a solar storm of unprecedented magnitude that struck Earth in 1859. But this isn't just a history lesson. A similar event could happen anytime, so it's a roadmap for our preparedness strategies in the face of modern-day uncertainties. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button if you're ready to learn from the past and enhance your prepping arsenal. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Prepper's Paradigm for more no-nonsense advice on thriving in any situation. So what was the Carrington event? In the mid-19th century, the British astronomer Richard Carrington made a groundbreaking observation that would forever change our understanding of space weather. On September 1, 1859, Carrington witnessed an intense solar flare erupting from the surface of the sun. This event, later known as the Carrington event, unleashed a torrent of solar particles hurtling towards Earth, causing the most intense geomagnetic storm in recorded history. The impact, a roar is seen in the sky as far south as the Caribbean, and telegraph systems across the globe thrown into disarray. But what made the Carrington event so remarkable was not just its visual spectacle, but the chaos it caused in an age before widespread reliance on technology. Telegraph operators received electric shocks, equipment failed, and in some cases, caught fire and was destroyed. It was a wake-up call, revealing the vulnerability of our interconnected systems to the whims of space weather, even before society came to rely on modern technology like we do now. The immediate effects of the Carrington event were profound and widespread, reverberating across continents and oceans. Telegraph systems, the lifeline of communication in the 19th century, bore the brunt of the solar storm's fury. Operators, accustomed to the steady hum of their equipment, found themselves in uncharted territory as sparks flew and wires crackled with electric charge. Meanwhile, in the heavens above, a spectacular display unfolded as auroras painted the night sky with vibrant hues. But the effects were not confined to the immediate aftermath. The Carrington event left a lasting imprint on Earth's magnetic field, triggering increased geomagnetic activity in the months and years that followed. Auroras, typically confined to polar regions, became a common sight at lower latitudes, captivating and unsettling observers alike. Telegraph systems, vital arteries of communication, struggled to recover from the onslaught, with disruptions persisting for weeks on end. The Carrington event serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of our technological infrastructure in the face of natural phenomena beyond our control. The Carrington event may have occurred over a century ago, but its lessons resonate strongly with modern-day preppers. The event underscores the fact that major disasters can and do happen. It highlights the importance of preparing for low-probability, high-impact scenarios. As preppers, we understand the need to anticipate and mitigate a wide range of threats, from natural disasters to societal disruptions. The Carrington event also exposes the vulnerabilities inherent in our reliance on modern technology and interconnected systems. Our society relies heavily on modern technology and interconnectedness. As preppers, we should be ready to survive even if all of that technology suddenly fails. Hence, a multifaceted approach to preparedness is paramount encompassing not only the stockpiling of supplies but also the cultivation of essential skills, self-sufficiency, and the forging of resilient communities. By learning from the past and adapting our strategies accordingly, we empower ourselves to navigate uncertainties with confidence and resilience. Understanding the signs behind solar storms is crucial in gauging the likelihood of a recurrence of the Carrington event. Today, advancements in technology afford us greater insights into the workings of our nearest star, but research has also revealed that the Earth has been subject to solar storms even more intense than the Carrington event in the past. For example, evidence of carbon-14 stored in tree rings shows that a geomagnetic storm more than 10 times the size of the Carrington event occurred in the year 775. In fact, in 2012, there was a solar storm of a similar magnitude to the Carrington event, the effects of which passed through Earth's orbit. Luckily for us, the Earth was in a different part of its orbit at the time, so it narrowly missed us. Scientists monitor solar activity closely, providing forecasts and warnings of potential solar storms. Earth's magnetic field acts as a shield, deflecting the majority of solar particles emitted during a solar storm, but as proved by the Carrington event, this doesn't make us indestructible. Our modern reliance on technology exposes us to vulnerabilities in the event of a severe solar storm. Satellites, vital for communications, navigation, and weather forecasting, are at risk of damage from intense solar radiation. Our power grid, communication networks, and anything else reliant on technology and interconnectedness is also at risk of damage and failure. Nonetheless, proactive measures are in place to safeguard our technology infrastructure and mitigate the impact of solar storms, 
meaning that some of our technology should survive. However, we won't really know for certain what will work and what will fail until the next major event happens. Collaborative efforts among nations bolster our capacity to monitor space weather and respond swiftly to emerging threats. By remaining vigilant and being prepared, we can minimize the long-term impact on our survival, even if the grid goes down next time a solar storm like the Carrington event, or even bigger, happens. As preppers, it's essential to implement practical strategies to mitigate the impact of solar storms on our daily lives. Stockpile essential supplies, including food, water, medications, and batteries, to sustain yourself and your loved ones during extended disruptions. Build your self-sufficiency and ability to live off-grid if the worst should happen. Acquire essential survival skills such as first aid, navigation, and foraging to enhance your self-reliance in times of crisis. Invest in alternative communication technologies such as shortwave radios, but use protective measures like Faraday cages to shield electronic devices from the effects of electromagnetic pulses. Foster strong community ties with like-minded people within your neighborhood or a prepping group pulling resources and expertise to weather the storm together. Stay informed about space weather forecasts and heed warnings issued by relevant authorities to take timely precautions. By implementing these proactive measures and remaining vigilant, we can fortify ourselves against the potential impact of solar storms and emerge stronger and more resilient in their aftermath. The Carrington event serves as a poignant reminder of the unpredictability of nature and the importance of preparedness in the face of uncertainty. While the likelihood of a similar event destroying our tech and interconnectedness remains low, as preppers, we are united by a common goal to safeguard ourselves, our families, and our communities from whatever challenges may arise. The lessons learned from history are our greatest assets in navigating the complexities of the modern world. Together, we can weather any storm, emerge stronger, and continue to thrive in the face of adversity. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Carrington event. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Prepper's Paradigm for more practical tips on preparedness. Until next time, stay safe, stay prepared, and stay empowered.